I had some questions today about moving from SolidWorks to the laser cutter. So I thought I'd give a brief overview of that process. So we're gonna start with my assembly here uh, that I've created previously, and we're going to right click my part and open that. Um, so we'll need to do this for each of the parts. Uh, once we've done that, we can go file, save as, save as copy and open, move to my DXF folder, choose DXF, for options, we're going to make sure that R14 is selected. Uh, and this is just for compatibility with Inkscape. So we have R14. Uh, once we've done that, we're going to uh, give this a separate name. So call that test. Now uh, ignore that and choose faces, loops, edges. Uh, by doing this, it means that our DXF app export is going to be perpendicular to this face, uh, whereas if we didn't select that, it would be exactly as we see it here. So once we've done that, we can click the tick, and see that it generates our DXF, and we can save that. Once we've done that, we'll move across to Inkscape, where we can file and import. We can choose our side six millimeter test and open that just click through both of these and we now have our DXF in Inkscape. To change the size of the document, we can press Control Shift D and that will bring up our document properties where we can then set the width to be 800 millimeters and our height to be 500 meters, millimeters to match the Speedy 360 that we have on campus. Once we've done that, we can uh, see that we have a much larger surface to, to position things on. Uh, and you'll also note that we have this SOLIDWORKS educational product for instructional use only text. So if we select this and then hit Control Shift G, that will ungroup all of the elements. We can click each of those, Control A to select everything or drag over the top, Control G to join them. Now we want to make the best use of our space. Uh, so I would recommend bringing in all of your parts uh, that you want to cut and then arranging them to make optimal use of the space. The other thing that you need to note is that for our laser, we use black as engrave and red as cut. So if you hold down shift and click on the red, it will then change the color of your lines and then that document is then ready for laser cutting. Now you can also use a variety of other colors uh, which we can see here. So we have our red, blue, blues, greens, uh, and these can all be set to different powers and speed level speeds. Uh, and that will allow us to either do, uh, break our job down into multiple parts to reduce travel, dead travel time, or we can then do different amounts of power depending on what we need uh, if we wanna you know, say engrave partway through a material. So hopefully that gives you an overview of the different things required to get from SolidWorks to the laser cutter. Uh, and I hope that you can make good use of that.